Okay, welcome to this video. That will be a short description of the um, assessment guidance for the module C7041, Experimental Design and Analysis. We're going to start here on our um, module Moodle page, and uh, we're going to scroll down. You know, here is the information about the um, boot camp with a link to the boot camp lab and a link to the Slack channel for support for the boot camp and for the module. Here is a, a section with our schedule for the week of the module, link to the lectures and labs for the module, and a link for Teams. Um, and here is a link for some optional support meetings after the module week, starting in January 2023, to support the assessment. Right down below that are these two links. And uh, one is a module descriptor which is just administrative formal information about the content of the module, but the one we're going to look at now is the assignment brief, the assessment brief. You can just open that up and we'll um, zoom in on it. Now you can read this in your own time, and this is just by way of the module assessment launch. Um, <clears throat> the task outline is um, very straightforward and that's outlined here. You're going to be assigned a real data set. Every person in the module will be assigned a unique data set, and the data sets will be uh, the first time I have ever assigned this particular data set to any student. Uh, so every year I, I choose new real data sets and assign different ones to each student. Okay, the first task is going to be to um, convert your assigned data set to a tidy data format in an Excel file. Um, then, given the data set um, that you've been assigned to outline some objectives that are appropriate for variables in the data set uh, to answer some scientific questions. Okay, And then you will perform and report the results of statistical analyses for your objectives. Um, now the analysis um, uh, overall should consist of your tidy data set, a report that uh, outlines the methods, and I'll give you some detail on that below, and then uh, of course your 100% reproducible R script for your analysis. Okay, and uh, an important point is that um, you you should restrict the uh, analysis to techniques that we cover in this module. Okay, and the, the whole point of this is to demonstrate several techniques um, that we cover in the module and, um, and to just document and, and communicate the analysis. Okay, starting with a data set. Now, uh, the first deliverable is the tidy data set itself. Um, the format for the, um, for the data, they, some may be in Excel format, some may be in comma separated values. Um, but uh, you'll um, you'll convert this now if you if you haven't uh, performed the um, the module pages for the stats boot camp the R stats boot camp there's a link here to some examples for what constitutes a tidy data set and how to uh, convert it to a tidy tidy data set format second is a re report in Microsoft Word um, you know, the, the spirit of this is in the scientific style to show the graphical and statistical evidence um, that you generate from your three hypotheses. What are your three hypotheses? That's up to you. Um, many people would choose to do a couple of simple ones like uh, t-test, correlation, simple linear regression, chi-squared test. Depends on the variables that are in your particular data set. Uh, you don't have to use the entire data set and you can create new variables by transforming them for example um, so that is up to you and the, the point is to demonstrate um, you know your knowledge about matching data types given the many many examples that I cover in the um, in the lab pages to perform your own analysis okay now um, you probably for some of these tests will um, perform exploratory, ana uh, exploratory analysis and do some assumptions testing. Um, now that should be acknowledged, but the focus of the report and of the script should be to be as concise as possible 
on the um, statistical evidence for your exact hypotheses. If you perform um, exploratory data analysis, EDA, that, uh, that should be secondary. And uh, also you should report your results in a, in a brief format. Um, bulking it up will, uh, will definitely not make it better. So I give some guidelines on the length of things, uh, which I'll cover in just a moment. Now, uh, simple tests are fine. Uh, as I said, I'd stick to the simple ones. And I, for all of these um, that I mentioned, I give explicit examples with data on how to perform them, uh, the appropriate graphs to accompany them, and um, um, how to uh, report those results in writing in the RStats Bootcamp and copious examples throughout the, uh, the labs as well. But the RStats Bootcamp has all of that together in a very brief format, and I, I definitely advise you to follow that. Now, um, <clears throat> now, at least one of your three models mod, um, should be a, a multivariate linear model. So that's a model that's covered in the um, linear models lab in the, um, in the C7041 website. Um, you know, I would, I would base that on uh, the examples that uh, are given there, or it could be on the um, uh, linear mixed effects model or the generalized linear model pages. All of them give many, many examples on real data sets of uh, what a multivariate model should look like. So this would be um, a model with, uh, let's say, two factor predictor variables or, or possibly uh, one factor and one continuous variable, or it could have two continuous predictor variables. That's up to you and your data set. Now, um, the hypotheses tested should be non-overlapping. In other words, you want to avoid the same explanatory variable for the, the same predictor variable in more than one model. Okay. Uh, another thing is that um, you should write the report in complete sen sentences, uh, avoid the use of bullet points, avoid copying and pasting raw text statistical output from the R console. That is a real pet peeve of mine and I emphasize that on the R stats bootcamp and in the um, in the lab web pages, and we just don't do that. And I've given you many examples of how to properly report it, so I don't expect to see any copied and pasted stats output raw. Um, you also want to avoid reporting back in that report any any R commands because they're going to be in your script. Okay, another pet peeve. Um, now the report should be um, with a few sections. Should have a descriptive title. Should have your student ID number background section should briefly, very briefly, motivate the problem. Now you may, some people have in the past um, cited uh, scientific papers here. That's not the point here. This isn't a piece of novel scientific work. This is um, focused on demonstrating some stats methods and picking appropriate tests to match data that you've been given. Um, your ob objectives stated plainly here should briefly describe the data, your data. Um, <clears throat> and, and we should have an emphasis on being brief, focus on your statistical objectives. Okay? Um, they're not, that's not to say that it needs to be, um, it needs to be uh, dry. You know, you can have fun with it uh, as well. Now, um, like I said, exactly three objectives reflecting a question that will align to statistical evidence in your results. Okay, now you want to shoot for about a paragraph here. You know, less is more. The methods, they'll be a description of the tests and the statistical methods you've used. Um, the level of detail should allow the test to be replicated. Um, it should outline the analysis approach for each objective. You know, have good organization. Justify why the approach was chosen. Uh, if you do any data man manipulation, or if you test the assumptions, um, you should acknowledge that here and describe it. That also will be about one paragraph. Results, this is a summary and an uh, interpretation of the major results that you produce, including a graph. Uh, I would shoot for 
one relevant graph that's relevant for your hypothesis for each of your statistical hypotheses. Okay, um, and th this should be one or two paragraphs. Conclusions: Formally state your conclusions based on your evidence. Literature cited. If you do have some, um, they should be uh, one to three relevant peer-reviewed references. Um, possibly a book. No web pages or gray literature. Uh, in preparing the report, you should uh, aim it at a scientifically educated audience, not a statistician. Um, somebody like yourself, uh, like your peers. Um, there should be a clear articulation of the questions, your statistical objectives, the approach you use to solve it, and so forth. Now, um, the deliverables. The, um, the deliverable um, <coughs> for the um, report will be a Word document. Uh, I already mentioned the uh, deliverable for tidy data will be an Excel spreadsheet. And the last de uh, deliverable is your reproducible code, your R script, plain R script. No R markdown um, and no text document um, that is .txt and certainly no Word document. It should be a .r R script. Now the reproducible code should be a, um, commented, fully commented with clickable um, sections, a header, table of contents, uh, and I should be able to open that script, set my working directory to the same directory as the tidy data data file that you turn in for this, and I should be able to reproduce every um, result in your report. Okay, it should require no editing at all, with the exception of me setting my working directory. Um, test this. Top tip um, before you turn it in clear your global environment completely, restart R, and run the whole script. And once you set your working directory, if it runs perfectly, full marks. Here's what you'll turn in um, the data file should be named. Uh, your student ID dot xlsx. You know, for me it would be my my ID number dot xlsx. The report file should be your ID um, <coughs> dot report dot docx. Okay, for me it would be my number dot report dot docx. And for your R script it should be your ID dot R. For me, my ID number dot R. And finally, um, you're going to submit all three of those in a single zip file. What is the zip file going to be named? You won't be surprised to learn that it will be called youridzip. For me, it would be called myidnumber.zip. That's it. Um, if you have any questions, we, um, we can uh, answer them in Slack after the week the module runs. And remember, we have those um, four support sessions after the first of the year, each of the four Wednesdays before your um, assessment is due. With that, I bid you adieu, and I'll see you at those support sessions.